everyone. Shut up! I got on the island today. Clayton almost killed you, right? And I was so worried about you. I thought you were an NFC agent. I thought you might be leading some kind of a little double life. And you know what you said to me? You swore you would never lie to me about something like that. Never lie to me. Pamela, we cannot work this over in a few hours. We cannot straighten it out in this town. Now that you know that I'm a very rich man, why don't you let me build you a proper schoolhouse so you can teach those kids you love? I'll buy you a palace on that island, and you can openly be Mrs. Ace if you can. And after a while, I'll come down there, and maybe we can, you know, pick up the pieces in our in our paradise, our own little paradise. Damn, I know revenge is not natural to you, and right now I know you hate me. But deep down, I know you love me. And we can be happy again, but only on our own island. All right, I admit I made mistakes with Pamela. But I thought I learned from them. I've got a good marriage now. Well, you really are that bad, aren't you? I mean, you have managed to alienate your entire family, and now you're ignoring your friend's plea for help. Will you forget about Chuck? Have Martha bring us some food while I watch the game. I gave Martha the afternoon off. If you want something to eat, you fix it yourself. I am going shopping. No more! Stop this car! I need it, boy! Now! I wish is my command, Mr. B. We've arrived. Arrived where? See for yourself. All right, Chuck, where are you taking me now? You'll see. See what? First you have an Indian driver. Give me a ride to nowhere. Now you got me walking the storm. Why? This looks like mine. It's your old house in Cherokee County, Asa, the same one you grew up in. Asa, is that you? Can't be. That's my mother. She's been dead 50 years. There you are. About time, too. And didn't I tell you to wipe your boots on the mat? Mama? Don't follow me. You track mud on my clean floor, I will tan your hide and hang it out to dry. Mama, I can't believe... Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Give Mama a hug and make everything better. Well, not this time, sonny boy. If I had known you grew up to be such a cantankerous, mean-spirited little ten-year-old, I would have tanned your hide and left it out to dry. Mama, you don't understand. I'm not ten years old anymore. It's me, Ace, all grown up. All grown up. That's a laugh. Ow! And there's more of that if you ever sass me again. I want you to see what mischief you've done this Christmas, boy. Come with me. See for yourself. Hey, come on, Renee. You've got to get with the spirit. Oh, that's right, Renee. It is Christmas time. Oh, that just makes it worse. What's going on? Hush. I can't bear it. I can't believe that Ace has drifted this far away from his family, all of his sons. No, well, he brought this all on himself. Blaming Clint for that breakup with Vicky. He did everything he could to, to force me to make a choice between him and Sarah. Now, who do you think I'm going to choose? What we have to do, we all have to have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, with or without Ace. Take me out of here, Mom. I don't want to see this. You'll see, young man. You will see what you have done to the best woman who ever came into your life. Have a happy Christmas. How could that be possible? Oh, How could we ever be happy again? I'm sorry. Is there anything that we can do? No, nothing. I've never had any family, and now my own husband is trying to destroy it. I thought that Asa loved me. I thought he loved all of us. I do. Renee, darling, I do love you. None of that. Come with me. No, no, Mommy, you understand. I love my wife, and I love my family. I mean, if anything, I love them too much. She can't hear you. None of them can. You've hurt them too much. They're deaf to your excuses. Well? What about it, sonny boy? Are you ready to stop making excuses and change? 
Mama, please, tell me this is a dream. This is your life, Asa. You can make of it what you want. You can go back to being a good son and treat those you love with respect and kindness. Or you can stay your rotten old self and end your days as withered and empty as last year's Christmas tree. How about it? Mama, I would do anything, anything to make you happy. Then do it. Turn your life around. And you can have the first cookies off the sheet. Christmas cookies. My favorite. Not, not yet. Not until you promise me you'll change. Mama, I want one of those cookies more than life itself. But I'm not some small kid in knickers. And I will not shoulder all I blame. Ungrateful child. Go on then. Stay miserable if that's what you want. Mama. Mama, please come back. I thought we were pals. You're doing it to yourself, Asa. You can't face the truth about...